one night without your new friends rhyme? I'm surprised you noticed since you're always on your phone. Stop fighting, you guys. I'll be quiet, Quinn. Why are you always defending her? Because you and Asher are always ganging up on her. Because she's a bad friend. Is something burning? I realize I haven't been the best friend. Understatement of the year? Sorry. Kidding. No, I mean, you're right. I've missed a ton of Tuesday teas. And I want to make it up to you. So what do you have planned? I ordered pizza. It's on the way. And there's also a cookie dough to bake later. No eating raw cookie dough, Quinn. That was one time. That's the pizza. I'll get it. So what kind of pizza did you have? Uh, hi, Mrs. Simpson. You're not the pizza guy. Have you seen my dog, Reggie? Um, no, I'm sorry, did he get out? No, he's home. He got groomed. He looks fabulous. Okay. Well, have a good night. <laughs> you ready to make some movie magic? Alan, for the film is due Monday. We don't really get a choice. That's not exactly the can-do attitude I was hoping for. Hopefully he came with some Oscar-winning ideas. I was thinking a buddy cop movie about two friends from Millwood. No. How about a boxer that learns how to cook? Seriously? Jeez. OK. Who's bluffing? I don't know. Ooh. I guess we'll find out. Oh. <laughs> <Back at this game. laughs> All right, well, I raise you. Two hair ties. Mm. And a scrunchie. I fold. Oh, I got it. <laughs> You're not showing your whole hand if you keep squirming like that. Sorry, guys. It's Robbie. I just never know when he's going to be able to respond. How is Robbie? He's great. We're great. Nobody said you weren't. You guys are legit couple goals. Yeah, honestly, if anyone can survive long distance, it's you two. Um. So, anyone gonna call my bet? Not me. No? Um, okay. What about a horror film? Ketchup is never believable as blood. What about a comedy? Not feeling funny. I've got it. What about a murder mystery about a guy that kills his film partner for being a total toolbox? Whatever, dude. Don't whatever dude me. I've given you, like, 20 ideas and you shot down every one of them. Because they're all have bait. Then do something better. Listen, I don't know what your problem is, man, but if you didn't want to be film partners, you already had an out. OK, hold on for a second. I'm so happy the pizza finally got here. I'm starving. Are you sure you don't want any, Quinn? Yeah, I already ate. I'm OK. All right, there's more if you change your mind. Next game, never have I ever. Oh, Ooh, this will be okay. <laughs> OK, um, never have I ever been in love with a ketchup packet. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, um, never have I ever dressed up like a chicken before. Ooh. Ouch. 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 Not it. Um, no. I'm gonna go put the cookies in the oven. Hey, wait. Um, you do one first. Um, fine. Never have I ever ignored my boyfriend to hang out with my cool older friends. Good one. Never have I ever tried to steal my cousin's boyfriend. How does Robbie have time to work when you're always texting him? If you must know, I'm texting a classmate about the debate team. Hey! Doesn't look like you're texting Carlos only about debates. Jeez, don't you have an ex-boyfriend to stalk on social media or something? Don't you have boyfriends to juggle? Saved by the bell. Oh, whatever. Got your mail. Gemma, what are you doing here? Party tonight, at the club. You're coming with. Tonight? I thought it was 18 and over on the weekends. What are you, scared? No, it's just I have a couple friends over. Club doesn't open for an hour. We can pre-party here. What are you guys doing here? I didn't know this was an open party. 
Jim, I just wanted to say hi. What are we playing? Uh, never have I ever, but that's probably too childish for you. No, I actually love that game. I'll go first. Be our guest? Okay. Never have I ever kissed a boy at the spot. Oops. Okay. Um, never have I ever written snail mail love letters to an ex before. Rhyme? You're such romantic. Never have I ever written love letters to an ex who didn't even bother to read them. Oh, this is getting juicy. Be honest. This is about Rhyme, because if you're mad at me for dating her, you can just say it. It's not about Rhyme. Right. Not exactly. What is it? It's been really hard coming back to Ottawa. A lot harder than I thought. I miss football. I miss my life. And most of all, I miss my girlfriend. I didn't know you were dating someone. I am. Or at least I was before I left. It's OK, bro. You can answer. You got a girlfriend, too. putting the cookies in the oven, and I got hungry. Gwen. It, I only had a couple pieces. It's no big deal. You've skipped a lot of meals lately. I noticed you didn't have lunch almost at all this week. I just haven't been feeling well. That's all. I'm fine, I promise. Fine. So you're gossiping about us now? Oh, and you finished all the pizza. Super. It's fine. We can grab something on the way to the club. The club? I thought you planned a sleepover for us. Couldn't you survive one night without your new friends, Rhyme? I'm surprised you noticed since you're always on your phone. Stop fighting, you guys. I'll be quiet, Quinn. Why are you always defending her? Because you and Asher are always ganging up on her. Because she's a bad friend. Is something burning? The cookies! There's smoke coming from your house. We burnt some cookies, Mrs. Simpson. <laughs> I like my cookies soft, not crunchy. Well, the cookies aren't for you. Well, I'll remember that next time I'm going to bring you a casserole. Quinn doesn't feel well, so Rooney's coming to pick her up. And we're going to hang out at Ellie's. Fine by me. Time for the club? What you were saying before about, you know, leaving home, coming back, I feel like that'd be a good jumping off point for our movie. Alienation's a pretty universal feeling. Alienation like outer space. You know, loneliness, isolation. I was never a big vocabulary guy. Wait, no, let's run with that. We'll use your story, but with Creatures from a different planet. I like that. So glad we ditched those Debbie Downers. Such bad vibes. All right, now how am I gonna get in? It's 18 and up. Gemma thinks of everything, babe. This is supposed to be me. Just be confident. The bouncer is totally oblivious. Trust me. That's my girl. See you inside. Next time on Chicken Girls. Glorp Gleep or Blorp Gleep? Definitely Glorp Gleep. Gleep Glorp. Gleep. Neighbors. Gleep them lovers. Glorp Glorp. Glorp Gleep. Wait. <gasps>
You guys, does anybody know something about this? Yeah, that it's kind of dumb. 